I'm going to show how I create multiple panels at runtime in VB.net. Each time I press the Add Contact button, the app will add a panel with the picture box, two labels, and a delete button. When delete is pressed, it will remove the panel. In Visual Studio, the first step is to add a flow layout panel to hold each contact panel. I've named the flow panel FLP Main and I've set these properties. Auto scroll equal true, flow direction equals top down, left and top padding, and wrap content equals false. Now I'll go to the code and add two global variables to track the current panel name and the number of panels added. Next, create a function to create a new contact panel. In the function, create a new panel object, set its properties, add the contact panel to the flow panel, and update the panel status variables. In the add contact button code, I'll call this function. Now run the app and you can see it's creating new panels. Now I'll add a function to create the picture box. The function will have parameters for the current panel name and image location. In the function, create a new picture box object, set its properties and add it to the flow panel. In the add contact button code, I'll make a call to get some dummy contact info and then call the picture box function with the current panel name and the contact image path. Run the app and it's now adding pictures, picture boxes also. Now I'll add a function to add the contact name label. It will have parameters for the current panel name and the text to show. Create the new label and set the properties and add it to the flow panel. In the add contact button code, make a call to this function. Run it and it's now displaying the contact name. Repeat the process for the contact phone label. The last function to add is for the delete button. In the function, I create a new button and set the properties and add it to the flow panel. Then add a handler for the click event. Now create the function to handle the click event. First remove the handler. Then loop through and remove the parent panel of the sender. In the add contact button code, make a call to this function. Now I can run the app and it's deleting panels.